Auditory Processing Disorder APD. Auditory Processing Disorder APD, is where you have difficulty understanding sounds, including spoken words. There are things you can do that can help. APD, also known as Central Auditory Processing Disorder, isn't hearing loss or a learning disorder. It means your brain doesn't hear sounds in the usual way. It's not a problem with understanding meaning. Symptoms. Symptoms. Symptoms of auditory processing disorder, APD, can be subtle. Symptoms can include having trouble with 1. Telling where sound is coming from. 2. Understanding words that are spoken quickly or in a noisy room. 3. Paying attention. 4. Reading and spelling. 5. Following directions unless they are short and simple. 6. Learning a new language. 7. Singing or enjoying music. 8. Understanding and remembering spoken information. If you have APD, you also might. 1. Take longer to reply to someone who is talking to you. 2. Often need others to repeat themselves. 3. Not understand sarcasm or jokes. APD is often seen with attention, language and learning issues like those seen in attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. Causes. Doctors don't know exactly what causes APD, but it may be linked to 1. Illness. 1. APD can happen after chronic ear infections, meningitis, or lead poisoning. 1. Some people who have nervous system diseases, such as multiple sclerosis, also develop APD. 2. Premature birth or low weight. 3. Head injury. 4. Genes. APD may run in families. Risk factors. Factors that increase your risk of auditory processing disorder, APD, include 1. Aging. 2. Stroke. 3. Head trauma. 4. Lead poisoning. 5. Seizure disorders. 6. Issues linked to birth, such as an early birth, low birth weight or a pregnant person using alcohol, drugs or tobacco. 7. Repeated ear infections, especially at a young age. Complications. Auditory processing disorder, APD, complications include 1. Trouble understanding what people are saying. 2. Trouble taking part in activities. 3. Feeling isolated and lonely. 4. Trouble reading and writing, in children. 5. Trouble doing well in school. 6. Feeling depressed. Diagnosis. To diagnose auditory processing disorder, APD, your healthcare team may ask questions about your symptoms and how long you have had them, as well as order tests. A hearing specialist called an audiologist may do tests to see what is happening when you or your child hear sounds. These tests might include 1. Tympanometry 1. This test can tell if the eardrum isn't moving well. 1. The eardrum needs to move for good hearing. 1. For this test, the audiologist places a soft probe in the ear canal. 1. Then they send small bits of air pressure toward the ear. 1. The probe measures how much the eardrum moves in response to the air. 2. Acoustic reflex test. 2. This test shows what happens in the ear when it hears a loud sound. Auditory brainstem response. This test shows how well the inner ear, called the cochlea, and the brain pathways for hearing are working. An audiologist places sensors around the ear and on the head. The sensors connect to a computer. Short clicking sounds come through headphones worn during the test. The computer records how the nerves between the ears and the brain respond to the sounds. Evoked potential test. 
This test shows how well sound travels along the nerves that connect the ears to the brain. For this test, an audiologist places senses on the head. The senses connect to a computer. Short clicking sounds come through headphones worn during the test. This lets an audiologist see how well sound gets to different parts of the brain. It also shows if anything is blocking the nerves that link the ears to the brain. Treatment. Not everyone with auditory processing disorder, APD, needs treatment. If you or your child need treatment, there are many approaches. Every person with APD has different needs. Your healthcare team can work with you to help you. Your or your child's treatment might include hearing aids and listening devices. Your healthcare team may suggest that you use hearing aids with wireless listening devices. Listening devices help direct sound to you. They get sound from the source to your hearing aid. Auditory training. Auditory training, also called hearing rehabilitation, helps you adjust to hearing loss. You may train with an audiologist, a speech-language pathologist or both. You may train one-on-one -on -one with a therapist or as part of a group. 1. Computer-based training. 1. Computer-based programs can help train the brain to recognize and understand sounds. 1. These programs are like auditory training, but you do them online or with a computer program. Lifestyle and home remedies. There are simple steps you can take to manage auditory processing disorder, APD. For instance. 1. Try using a remote microphone to improve how well you can hear in a noisy room. 2. Move closer to the person who is speaking. 3. Think about covering surfaces that make sounds echo, such as open or empty spaces. 4. Move away from other sources of noise, such as a fan. 5. In a class or at a meeting, ask someone to take notes for you or get a written copy of what was said. 6. Ask for anything important to be in writing. 7. Use subtitles when watching TV. Comment below if you know something extra because it will be very beneficial for us.